Hi guys, Izzy Leachy here from Miss Little Moon Flower, and today I have November's most anticipated box, and this is Alcrate's um, special edition box. This is not their monthly box, but I cannot wait to show you <laughs> what is in this guy. So let's get in here, and I'll show you why I am so excited. All right. I'm not going to talk about it until it's open. Then we will. Ta -da! It is their special edition box for the Scorpio races. Now, I've heard about the Scorpio races for, for years, but I never um, actually sat down and, and read it until uh, November. It was one of the books that I had planned to read for the first of November because after hearing about it for so many years, I knew it was a, a, a book based on um, around the November the 1st, and I completely fell in love with this this book. So this is by Maggie Seavotter. It is the Scorpio Races, and this is their 10th anniversary collector's edition box. I'm not going to flip it over because that will be our spoilers, but I am super excited if you guys, I mean, it'll be a spoiler alert for my November wrap-up. But, yeah, if you guys have not read The Scorpio Races by Maggie Stiebotter, definitely give it a try if you love um, books about uh, quaint little villages that sit um, uh, on the ocean and horses and magical horses uh, such as, like, they call them the Kapalishka, but they're actually, like, selkies, so your your fey type of horses but uh it was just an amazing magical book so here is the first thing it's going to be noisy so it looks like this i'm going to take it out of the wrapper it is so soft but it has the little like i'm sure this is probably faux leather but it says sport horses um kapalishka melbourne stables fisby island fisby island is the name of um the place where all this uh, happens to take place and oh it's so soft but let's see what it looks like <laughs> it's, a, it's a poncho look at this it is so soft but I'll try to get it put on the table so you guys can see it in its entirety okay well this is the best I could do but look at the beautiful um, edging on it oh I love it I'll probably now that it's nice and chilly I'll actually probably use this for a reading blanket so I love it and the hood's up there but ah, I love this okay so the next thing in the box is a little tube and uh, it says visit this bee home of the Scorpio races and there is the mean Kapalisha coming up out of the ocean you guys really I mean if you love like Celtic type of um, uh, like Celtic mythology and stuff this this is a great book to read because this horse is based of off the um, I think it's the Selkie I think the water horse the Selkie I think that's what it is but yeah so we have this nice little poster and i'll be getting a frame for this to hang it up in my library but let's go set it back here okay and then we have a pen and it says fisby island scorpio rider races so it's like the little badge you get when you um participate in the, the races i really like that luna is like a, a poncho though and then we have we have a candle and it says um traditional november oh november cakes paulson's how is it paulson's bakery i think that's how it's pronounced it's got my fisby november cakes oh my gosh mm, it smells lovely it's a woodwick november cakes is something that they talk a lot about 
in um, the Scorpio races. And I've looked up to actually see if it was, okay, let me not, oops, I'm going to have to take that away because she's wanting to eat it. But um, November cakes is something that they talk about in the book a lot. And I looked up to see if November cakes was a real thing because it's, she, Maggie makes it seem so real. And um, it's actually not, but this has such a high um, fan base that there is recipes out now for November cakes. And I am going to try to make some of those delicious uh, honey gooey uh, sweet rolls is what, is what they are. But yeah, I love, I'm, I'm so glad to have this. So we have something from Paulson's Bakery. Luna, people do not want to see you do that. And then our next thing is a Fathom and Sons. 70 um, satchels, Kapalishka, Kappa, a fresh mint of wild berry blend. This is our story. For generations, Fathom Sons has shared the magic of the island with discerning patrons, and this tea is no exception. Taste the mag magic of Thisbe, untamed landscape with this fresh mint and wild berry tea blend. One sip, and you can feel the chill of the ocean against your skin. Pair with November cakes for an interesting and delightful combination made proudly on historical, on historic Disney Island. I love that. And oh, look, <laughs> it even has a Fathom and Sons sticker on it. Oh, who is this? I wonder who, I wonder who made this. But here's the tea. It's in these little, these little pouches. And it smells amazing, and I'm sure it's going to be delicious, but it's like, yeah, I went to um, Fathom and Sons and was able to have me a cup of tea. I love that. Oh, Riddles. This I thought looks familiar, so this is made by Riddles Tea Shop, and Riddles Tea Shop is an amazing tea company if you guys haven't tried them out. And then we have, I'm going to try to put this poster back out there so you know it's there. We have the uh, wooden bookmark. It says, the ocean knows your name. Everything on the back. From the sea to the sea. I like that. And then we have the Scorpio Races photo challenge. And then we have a Spotify playlist. Um... On the back, the sea sings to us both. And then the last thing, but certainly not least, is the special edition of Maggie Steve Otter's The Scorpio Races. I'm going to open it up so you guys can see it. So here it is. Look at how gorgeous this is. And I'll show you the um, what the original copy looks like and then here is uh the synopsis i'll read it to you guys so you guys if you those of you who don't know but it says some race to win others race to survive it happens at the start of every november the scorpio races riders attempt to keep hold of their water horses long enough to make it to the finish line finish line some riders live other riders die at age 19, Sean Kendrick is the returning champion. He's a young man of few words, and if he has any fears, he keeps them buried deep, where no one else can see them. Puck Conley is different. She never meant to ride in the Scorpio races, but fate hasn't given her much of a choice. So she enters the competition, the first girl ever to do so. She's in no way prepared for what's going to happen. As she did in her best-selling Shiver tri Trilogy, Author Maggie Sivar takes us to the breaking point where both love and life meet their greatest obstacles and the only strong apart can survive. The Scorpio Races is an unforgettable reading experience and I can absolutely 100% uh, agree to that. And then here's the back. It is the first day of November and so today someone will die. Oh, this book. I just, I still get goosebumps. It's just... Just thinking about it. And I listened to it on Audible and I loved it as well. So here's where she signed it. Um, it's where it talks about 
the 10th anniversary. And also in this book, there's supposed to be a, an extra chapter where it talks about a Finn's point of view, who is Puck's um, um, little brother. But, oh, cover. Yeah, let me show you that. So here is here's the book. There is the spine. Here's the beautiful back. Look at that. And then here is the other side of the cover. And this art is all done by, I happen to stand up to do this video because this box is big. Um, this art was actually done by uh, Maggie Stevada herself. She's an artist. So I love that as well. Okay, so you guys can see the difference. Here is the 10th anniversary book. And here is the original um, Scorpio Races book. But yeah, I, I just loved this. I love this, this story. And if you guys have not had a good November read or you're just wanting a good November read that has the ocean, the thrill of the race, uh, deadly, uh, spooky, scary water horses, because this book does get a little creepy at times because um, the, the water horses, um, they, they eat meat. They eat people, <laughs> so <laughs> they're horses to not to not mess around with. But yeah, I just love this book, and at the end, I was in tears. There were several times in this book that I was in tears, but I it just gives me boost, goosebumps just looking at it. But um, I had read one reviewer had uh, said something that she just reads the last line of the book and she still cries. And when I opened this up, I read the last line um, in the book and it just, it gave me all the feels all over again. So amazing book. And also to um, my witchy friends out there, if you didn't know, uh, Maggie Seawater also does tarot cards. So when I found that out, I went crazy and <laughs> got the Maggie Steve, Steve Otter Scorpio C Tarot. Um, I haven't opened it yet because all this actually came in today. So this came from Amazon and this came from Owlcrate. But as much as I love the book, I knew that I would love um, the tarot as well. So that's just a little, a little bit something extra if you're interested in a tarot cards. And she has one out for the Raven Cycle as well, um, but I haven't read. I have not read the Raven Cycle series yet. But yeah, this is it, guys. Everything for the tenth anniversary collection um, for the Scorpio races. Again, this was a five star read for me, and I have not had hardly any five star reads this month or this year. This year, I think I've had maybe I don't know, maybe two, three, maybe. But this was hands down five star I loved it and I love everything about this box and it was only um it was only $39 so $39.99 the shipping was a little bit more but um it still to me was worth every penny getting this beautiful uh, edition of the book especially having Maggie signed um it being signed and then the uh, reversible uh, dust jacket but I love everything and I'm so so excited to get to use this stuff and I will be cuddling up with my Melvin Stables uh, poncho tonight when I sit down to to read because it's going to be so nice and cozy but yeah this is it guys and I'm so happy to get to share it with you I was glad um, that I could grab one they might still have some available I don't know um, when I go to put this up on YouTube I'll go over and check um, their site to see if they still have any of the Scorpio races uh, boxes left. So this is it. <laughs> let me know down below what you thought about it. And um, definitely let me know if you've read the Scorpio races. And if you did, what did you think about it? But for me, it just, it was everything. And I could see myself living on Thisbe Island. I, I think Maggie is such an amazing writer. You could just 
you're there. You're 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 tasting the salt in the air. You're you're hearing the ocean. You're feeling the breeze, the chill in the air. It's just again a very atmospheric book that gives you all those amazing feels. So if you haven't read Scorpio Races, check it out for sure. So this is it, guys. Um, thanks so much for watching and for supporting my channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. And until next time, you guys stay safe and please live well. Bye, guys.